Hello, my name is Miss Stewart and this video is to welcome you to 21S, tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing in September and also to introduce myself. So this first slide, so this is a little bit about me. I grew up in Scarborough, so when I was your age I lived quite near to the seaside. Just below that is a picture of me and my sister when we were at a wedding and my sister and I are also modelling some of our jumpers when we were little girls just at the bottom. My sister had one with Care Bears and mine had rabbits and we loved them and wore them all the time. And now my sister lives in York and just on the right are my niece and nephew Oscar and Nora who I love to go and visit. And I'm hoping in the summer holidays that I can go and see them and also visit my mum who lives just quite nearby in Selby. So I'm hoping to visit and catch up with all of my family. And a little bit about me as a teacher. So before I worked at the high school, I worked in West Bridgeford for quite a long time and I taught year four and year three when I was there. And then I went to work in a place called Burton Joyce. And at that school, I taught in year six for three years. And before I came to the high school, I did some other jobs and had a bit of a break from teaching. And I did a master's, which is a kind of qualification where you go back to university. And I also worked at the library at Nottingham University. And I learned all about being a librarian and helping people to find things from books and the internet. And the library where I worked, as you can see this picture is very big. We had seven floors of books, different places to work. And it's been lovely to come to the high school and see the lovely library areas that we have here as well. And I like lots of different subjects to teach. I love maths. I love doing it at year six and down in year one, looking at all the different kinds of equipment that we've got. I also love books and reading and music. So being a primary teacher is really good because I get to do all the things that I like. And of all the years that I've been in, I've been loving being in year one. It's been great to look at some different picture books with my class, do some topics that I've never done before. And I'm really pleased to be in year one again next year and work with all of you. And when you come back in September, we're going to be looking at Once Upon a Time. So that's a topic that thinks about, fair, it includes fairy tales such as Jack and the Beanstalk, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Little Red Riding Hood. And we use this topic to do lots of artwork. We explore lots of books. We do some geography work, looking at maps. And we read one of my favourite books, The Jolly Postman, which is a book that I had when I was a little girl and I still love it today. It's a great book. And... I'm always going to be here if you need anything in school. I was a bit of a worry when you're, I was your age. I used to go home and worry about lots of silly things, what it was going to be for lunch the next day, what if my tray was a mess. So if you have any worries, make sure you come and tell me and I will help you with them. There are lots of other things I do to help you in class. So for maths, I always make sure there's lots of equipment out to help you. So if something's tricky, then you have got a way to work it out and try and be independent. If you think, that you're green for your work, you understand what you're doing, like this smiley face here, then we also have challenges out in year one for you to have a go at too. And if it's English, we have lots of different things to help you with your spelling, so spelling mats, word banks. So there are lots of things to help you when you get to year one. Mrs Tyrrell will be working with us as well. So we're very lucky to have a cosy classroom and two adults to help you with everything that you need. So the other purpose of this video is just to let you know a little bit about me and I'm hoping after you've watched it that you might be able to share a little bit about yourself as well and I'll be telling you some ways that you can do that. So during lockdown I decided that I was going to try a new hobby and I've been learning crochet and I've been learning to make lots of different things like you can see here. I'm just finishing my dragon at the moment because he still needs some wings if he's going to be a good dragon. The toy in the middle that I sent to my friend, that's a picture of it at her house. It's one of her favourite characters, Totoro. And I also made a sea monster as well. So I've been loving having a new hobby. So I think it's really important to always be learning new things. It doesn't matter how old you are. And I still like to learn new things today. And other things I like to do to keep busy, I like doing walking and running. So just here, you can see there's a blue picture behind me. And I'm with my friend's husband, Dave. And we like to go walking together. And we did a really long walk. We walked 100 kilometres and it took us a day and a half. We started one day, walked through the night and finished the next. So I really like a challenge. And that was one of the hardest things I've ever done. And I'm very proud 
that the two of us managed to make it to the end. But lots of people gave up or couldn't continue to get to right at the finish line. I also like running. This is a picture of me after I've done a long run. That was in Sherwood Pines Forest, where you can go and ride your bikes as well. It was quite cold. It was in winter. So it was a bit chilly getting started. One of my other favourite hobbies is playing piano. I think I've maybe started when I was probably your age, maybe in year one. And I still try and play a little bit every day. And I'm very bad at having too much music on my stand and it falls off. So I think over the summer holidays, I need to have a good sort out. And another hobby is reading. So this is a bookshelf where I put all of my favourite books. Some books I won't buy. I might borrow them from the library. And special books I keep on here. And I'm really interested in finding new books for you to read as well. So books that are great for our topics in year one. And another hobby of mine is to go travelling and to see different places and to meet different people. And these are some photographs from different places I've been to over the last few years. So this spiral kind of one, this is on the left. Um, this is from Portugal. and It's from some gardens that I went to. And they had all these amazing places you could go and explore. You could walk down these paths all the way to the bottom. At the bottom, this swing. I've never seen one of these before in Estonia and Latvia. In those countries, they have these special swings that people can stand on. They're very traditional. I've had them for many hundreds of years. And you can have a go at swinging backwards and forwards. It's not just for one person. I think we had six people when we had a go on here. Other places I've been. I went to Nepal and Bhutan for a holiday last year. One of my friends is a teacher in Nepal. She works at the British school there. And I went to stay with her at her house and saw lots of amazing places and met lots of amazing people. And just at the bottom, it's a bit blurry, this one, but this is when I went, it was when I was in Nepal and went paragliding, which is where you have a parachute. You might just be able to see a small one there. And there's somebody who's with you and you float around in the sky, having a look at all different things. So it's nice and slow, not quite like a skydive where you jump out of an aeroplane. I got to look at lots of different things and the birds in the sky and saw some lovely views as well. So I like to do things that's a bit adventurous sometimes. Now, our holidays are a bit different this year, so it might be that you're not going places that you normally would have done. I'm not going to be doing any travelling to exciting places this summer, so I'm going to be spending lots of time at home doing my hobbies and practising my running. So whatever you choose to do, wherever you're able to go, it'd be lovely to hear from you. I'd like to hear about, a bit about your hobbies, things that you like to do, places that you've been, and there are a few different ways that you can do this. So if you want to send an email, my email is just at the bottom. So you might ask mum and dad if you can maybe attach a picture of something that you like to do. If you want to have mum and dad in so it makes it easy for me to find who you're going home with on the first day. That could be handy as well, but no problem if that's not possible. If you would like to write a postcard, you could send it to Lovell House. If you want to do some artwork, if you're very arty and creative, again, you could scan that in and send me an email to my email address. Myself and all of the other year one teachers and staff, we're really looking forward to seeing all of you in September. We've got some lovely things to do. We're spending lots of time at the moment getting your classroom ready so everything's clean and tidy for when you come in and getting some nice displays up. And before then, we hope that you find lots of fun things to do over the holidays and have a lovely time. And I'm going to look forward to seeing all of you in September. <laughs>